Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Chris Profi, musically obsessed with vinyl CDs and cassettes. Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Oh yeah! Video two for today, why not? Let's do this. So I picked up three Rhino Rocktober vinyl releases. And every October, Rhino Records has this, you know, let's just call it a promotion, Rocktober, where they reissue a certain amount of albums. And there were quite a few that I was interested in. I ended up picking up three of them. Uh, the first two I want to show you are by David Coverdale. Yes, that David Coverdale, the lead singer of Whitesnake and the lead singer of Deep Purple. And these albums actually came out right after David Coverdale left Deep Purple. Now, I want to show you. I had them on CD originally. One, the first one's entitled White Snake, and the second one is entitled uh, North Winds. Now, I might have listened to these CDs maybe a couple times, and I really didn't think too much about them. So I almost didn't buy these reissues. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me pick these up. And I'm so glad that I did. These are um, remixed remastered and revisited this is david coverdale's 1977 debut entitled white snake and of course that was what his band would later be called and so glad i picked this up because first of all the sound quality is amazing and there's just something sometimes about dropping the needle on vinyl this is uh pressed on translucent tan vinyl. Let me show you what that looks like. And it's got all of the elements of what I like about David Coverdale. It's got the bluesy vocals. It's got that hard rock energy. And it also has those ballads that David Coverdale was so good and still is good at singing. Give these a listen, because I also picked up, and that's produced by Roger Glover, by the way. I also picked up the reissue of North Winds. And again, this is um, remixed, remastered, revisited, again produced by Roger Glover and uh, executive producer David Coverdale. This originally was under the moniker of David Coverdale, now it's known as a White Snake album. So White Snake, North Winds. Follow suit, like the last album, you get the bluesy hard rock that if you like that Deep Purple era and that early White Snake, this fits right in with that. Should we talk about him as a top vocalist? Yes, we should. Maybe we should talk about him as a top vocalist more than we do because... He is excellent. And talk about a great vocalist. The other Rocktober release I picked up was Tony Iommi and Glenn Hughes. And this is uh, the 1996 DEP Sessions. Again, featuring Tony Iommi and Glenn Hughes. It says the original classic album on vinyl for the first time. Limited edition translucent black ice vinyl. Let me show you what that looks like. Might be kind of hard to tell. No, you can kind of get a glimpse of it. Never heard this album before. I had seen the CD from time to time. And of course, I love Tony Iommi. I love Glenn Hughes. So I was interested in this. The riffs are there for Tony Iommi. But what's really interesting about this album is that Glenn Hughes, and I don't know if it was because he was writing for Glenn Hughes, but the guitar riffs are a little bit more, I'm going to use the term soulful. They've got a little bit more sparkle to them than like some of those darker Iomi riffs, if that makes any sense. And Glenn Hughes sounds phenomenal on these. I was expecting like demo quality because I was thinking, oh, this says the 1996 DEP sessions. I don't really know too much history behind that. I guess I could have Googled it, but it sounds fine to me. I mean, it's got sort of at times a little demo sound to it, but 
clear, clear recording. And the songs are there. So, yeah, picked up uh, that. Don Airy plays keyboards on here, by the way, too. So those were my three Rocktober releases. Did any of you guys pick up some Rhino Rocktober releases? Let me know in the comments below. All right, everyone. Bye.